Hey folks, today I'm going to read with you an article from CNN about Malala and Greta. They finally met. Malala Yousafzai and Greta Thunberg finally met, and the two activists were fast friends. The two young women took a brief pause from advocating for the environment and human rights to meet for the very first time. To no one's surprise, they were fast friends. Greta Thunberg visited Malala Yousafzai at the University of Oxford, where the Pakistani activist is a senior. Thunberg is in the UK for a school strike planned for later this week. If you don't know, strike is when we pause activities, and so school strike is probably like the students are going to stop going to school, stop studying, okay, as a form of protest. Admiration between the two activists were, was mutual, so they both admire each other, so it was mutual. So, today I met my role model, Thunberg tweeted, what else can I say? So, role model, someone you admire, someone you look up to, okay, a role model, someone you want to be similar to, you will try to be like that person. So, she's saying that Malala is her role model. That's cute. Here we have a picture of both of them. And she's the only friend I'd skip school for. Yusuf's I quit. So Malala said that Greta is the only friend she skips cook for. So quipped because it's like a humorous and clever remark, you know, a comment that's kind of humorous but smart, you know, that's what she said. So she quipped. And both activists came to Prometheus at a young age. Malala for girls' education and Greta for the environment. They both the they both addressed the United Nations and being nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize, Malala won in 2014 when she was 17, Thunberg's age now. Despite hitting similar milestones, milestones, you know, it's like important achievements that you have, like milestones that you pass. The two had never met until this week. They had never met. That's not to say they weren't fans of each other before, though. They were fans. In a recent interview with Teen Vogue, the 22-year-old Yusuf Zai praised Thunberg and Emma Gonzalez, a gun violence survivor and founder of the March for Our Lives movement for continuing her legacy of activism. Sometimes in rooms with decision makers, they don't have any young people at the table. They don't even have women, let alone young people, she told the magazine. So just to have the voices of young people present there, just to have women being present at those tables, I think it's a huge difference. Though Thunberg's main focus has been Raising the alarm on climate change, the teen environmental advocate spent part of her time on campus speaking with Oxford students about science, voting, and the limits of protest. I found this very interesting, this article. I am a huge fan of these girls, and I hope you liked it too. If you have any comments, any suggestions, any questions, just leave them down below. And see you next time. Bye.